Initially, many established scientists dismissed the findings. They pointed to potential flaws in the experimental design, questioned the reliability of quantum AI systems, and suggested alternative explanations for the patterns observed. This is normal in science. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and healthy skepticism is part of the process. But as independent teams began to verify aspects of the discovery, the tide of opinion started to shift. Researchers at institutions around the world replicated parts of the experiment and found similar patterns emerging from their own quantum simulations. The specific details varied, but the fundamental structure, that self-referential fractal with its embedded information, kept showing up again and again. Scientific journals that had initially refused to publish papers about the discovery now dedicated special issues to it. Conferences were organized to bring together experts from disparate fields to make sense of the implications. Physicists talked to neuroscientists who talked to computer scientists who talked to philosophers, breaking down the traditional barriers between academic disciplines. In university classrooms, professors scrambled to update their courses to include discussions of the discovery. Students in fields ranging from computer science to comparative religion found themselves debating its implications. A new generation of young researchers, inspired by the possibilities, began designing experiments and developing theories to explore this new frontier where science meets consciousness.